Congress. And for some perspective on the new information emerging about Osama bin Laden, including the CIA's meeting with bin Laden's three wives, we turn to CBS News national correspondent, security analyst Juan Zarate. He is in our Washington bureau. Juan, great to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning, Rebecca. So these attacks in Pakistan yesterday, are these more of the lone wolf variety? No, I think what you see, Rebecca, is the Pakistan Taliban laying claim for this uh, attack. Remember, the Pakistan Taliban has been at war with the Pakistani state, attacking the intelligence and military establishment over time. And so this is part of that ongoing battle. But clearly, they use this opportunity to claim that it's a revenge attack. And I think you're going to see more of these in the future. The question is, will we see more of them here in the United States? A number of American cities have beefed up their security. Do you anticipate this is something that is going to come from overseas and come here home? Well, I don't see any evidence of it yet, but it's certainly something counterterrorism officials are worried about. They're worried about two things, Rebecca. First, al-Qaeda or organized attacks that may be accelerated as a result of bin Laden's death, revenge attacks like we just saw in Pakistan. Secondly, lone wolf attacks, individuals who may not be connected directly to al-Qaeda, who are inspired or emotional after uh, bin Laden's death and will attack fellow citizens. So counterterrorism authorities are on the lookout for those types of attacks. The U.S. has had one opportunity to interview bin Laden's three wives. They didn't get much out of it. They will be going back to the drawing board on that. Do you anticipate there's any kind of information, any kind of intelligence we could obtain from that? Well, frankly, Rebecca, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, it's not realistic to expect that bin Laden's wives are going to like or trust American interrogators across the table. Uh, they're not going to be very open. You know, we would want to get the kind of information, intimate information about bin Laden's lifestyle, whom he was meeting with, uh, the, the types of uh, things he was doing in the compound for five and six years. Uh, but I don't think a 30-minute session or even a few more sessions is going to do the trick. That's the kind of interrogation that takes a long time, uh, and I'm not sure we're going to get that kind of time with the wives. Speaking of that lifestyle, with new details, for example, the pornography uh, that was found in bin Laden's compound emerging, do you sense that the United States is trying to shape a new image of who this man was? Absolutely. I think the United States, in the information it's getting out about bin Laden's compound, about his lifestyle, is trying to reshape the image of this once heroic figure. Uh, they're trying to demonstrate that he was human, uh, that he had faults, and he certainly wasn't uh, the spiritual ascetic that he claimed to be. And so this uh, messaging campaign for the United States started the other day when uh, the government rela released videos. I think we're going to continue to see bits and pieces of this come out to reshape the image of bin Laden. We also just heard from Defense Secretary Gates talking about the need to increase security for Navy SEALs. How big of a concern is this with all of these new details emerging, the fact that now a number of congressmen have seen the pictures of a dead Osama bin Laden? Well, I think this is a real concern for the Department of Defense and the Navy SEAL community. I mean, this the SEAL Team 6 is a secretive, covert uh, unit. Uh, they do not want their identities out. They're in individuals who uh, not only have families, but also are engaged in ongoing counterterrorism operations. This isn't the end of their career. Um, but with an event like this, they're getting more attention than any time in recent memory. Uh, and so this is a real danger and I think a concern, a legitimate concern for Secretary Gates. Was it to be expected that these pictures would make their way out into public hands? I think so. This is something I said from the get-go, that it, in the age of WikiLeaks, it's very hard to control information within the government. I was in the White House. I saw that firsthand. It's very hard to control things from getting out of the government, even if you try very hard. Uh, and so I think the, the administration is going to have to reshape the narrative as these images come out, and I think they're going to try to control the message, but it's hard to do in the age of WikiLeaks. Juan Zarate, we appreciate it. Great analysis. Thanks, Rebecca.